All right, so I'm actually doing a shot that I said I was going to do uh, on the last video. Um, we have Morbius, Six-Armed Spider-Man, and, and uh, the Lizard. This was a thing uh, back when the Six-Armed Spider-Man story happened. Morbius and, and Lizard were both heavily involved with it. Um, and there's some rooftop scenes, rooftop cover uh, of, you know, f from that era. Um and yeah, I'm just kind of recreating my own little thing here. We have Six-Armed Spider-Man front and center, and then we have Lizard on one side, and then Morbius on the other side. And um, just kind of doing a rooftop scene with a bunch of buildings. We got this building uh, in the background um, just for uh, just to add a little something to it, make it look like it has even more depth than it already does. And then uh, Morbius and the Lizard on each side of him. Uh, on balconies and little ledges and stuff like that. Just kind of a cool little symmetrical picture uh, involving these three. So, um, yeah. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, it looks like he's on a rooftop. It's only like two inches high. Um, I do have those fluorescent bulbs behind the city landscape back there that really help light up the uh, lights on the building. Um, yeah, so... Anyways, uh, let's go on to the next picture. All right, so here's, uh, here's another fun little Thor, Thor setup. Um, we have Thor versus the Avengers. We got Enchantress and Loki up on this rock. Um, I don't really like... <laughs> don't really like... Uh, how the, like This is originally the angle I was going for, and for whatever reason, it just turned into... Uh, Avengers versus uh, Thor, and I had to change the angle just to get everybody to fit in, and uh, not 100% on, uh, you know, the fact that I couldn't use the old picture, but I think I may redo this, or I may use that angle real quick. I'll have to maybe find somebody else uh, to use that angle where you got uh, somebody looking, bad guy looking from up above, and then somebody else fighting, you know, whoever. But uh, I like how this turned out otherwise, you know, it's, uh, you know, pretty amazing. You know, I did, I got two flying characters. I really like the pose on, on uh, Wanda's cape, um, you know, and just the fact they got some classic adventures in there. Uh, get ready to fight Thor. It, it, yeah, it, it is pretty, it, it's a pretty cool shot. So, um, yeah, sometimes you start out with something, turns into something completely else, and there, or something else completely uh, different, and that's what this turned out to be. So, um, yeah, just a bunch of garden rocks, uh, posed in different, you know, stacked and posed in different angles and, and everything, and, uh, you know, a cool little picture came out. We got Thor up, or, um, Vision up on a wire, we got Wand on a wire, um, and, yeah, not much else to say about it, just, uh, you know, it's kind of funny that <laughs> this is what I start out with, this is supposed to be my angle, and then now it's this, and I have you know, way more characters than I thought I would in this. So anyways, let's go on to the next picture. All right. So I used, I uh, love that previous setup so much with Thor that I uh, decided to reuse it um, and get that original shot that I wanted to get. Uh, and this one is of Wolverine, um, Kazar, and then Sauron. And, uh, you know, they're just, they're out doing their thing and they know something's uh, watching them. And they don't know where it's coming from. Um, the Kazar is actually, that's a custom, they never made him, DSC ever made him, that's like a Ryu from Street Fighter, it's his chest piece, a Thor hair piece, and then Shauna the She-Devil, uh, she came with, the uh, whatever Sauron species is, or whatever the, the pterodactyls are, because he did an army builder at one point in time, and I just threw, uh, blue pants on him, I guess we could say that's, yeah, they didn't make Sauron either, that's, uh, Hulk feet with uh, blue pants and uh, uh, one of the winged uh, dinosaur creatures, whatever the heck they call them in the comics, um, one of their bodies. Uh, God, I can't even remember what wave they came with, but um, yeah, that's uh, two customs, I guess. Um, and then we got a Wolverine um, in like a battle damaged uh, suit. I thought about going shirtless, but then I, I, I was digging through trying to find the shirtless Wolverine and I found this one. I kind of like him better for this. So, um, and then I actually, I threw the, um, so weapon X, uh, actually savage Wolverine hair piece. It's not one that came with, uh, any nineties, uh, Wolverine Jim Lee, you know, it, it, that's, that's from the, 
feral Wolverine from the Through the Ages box set, and I kind of like it. It's a very good hair piece for him. So, anyways, yeah, use the same setup. Uh, just going for a super low angle with these two. Uh, threw in a couple trees just to mix it up, and um, got Sauron way up there for with a yeah, like I said, a nice deep angle, nice low angle. So, anyways, let's go on to the next picture. All right, so next shot, uh, the Minimate Buy Sell Trade. Uh, Facebook page is having a, uh, they always have their weekly contest for, um, you know, mini made pictures. They, and the only thing you win really is a, uh, you get to be on their banner. You're on, you get the, to be the Facebook banner, uh, you know, picture, whatever you come up with. And I haven't done it in a while. I just haven't had time to really focus on. I always got my own thing going on and stuff. So, but this week's Punisher, I haven't done it in a while. I thought, God, why not do a picture for it? So uh, here is my picture for this one. I ba basically, I got this Paladin um, custom from Luke's Toy Store. I haven't used him yet. I wanted to get a cool picture of him. And Punisher would be a perfect uh, character, you know, to use for that. Uh, and basically, uh, you know, how I match it up is I try to get, um, you know, Punisher inside the door. It just looks better. So, you know, if I put him like this, like if, you know, I could do this and then, I don't know, he just looks so better if I put him within that door frame and back, just center him in there. I think just the symmetry of it just looks so much better. Uh, and then, of course, I got him in a walking pose, uh, you know, in, in the proper walking pose, of course, is right shoulder forward, left, uh, right leg back, you know, that's how people walk, the opposing leg and arm are in the same direction, uh, it always looks so goofy, and I did it for years before I figured it out, that why does, why do people not look right running in my pictures, and then I just kind of figured out that's not how people run or walk, and it just looks so much better when it's, uh, the natural way people walk, but, um, yeah, anyways, uh, and then Paladin to get him in the sitting position with his legs all like this. This is the second time I've tried this. Just recently I did another picture like this with Wolverine. But you got to take his legs off. And then uh, you got to, like, the peg that goes into his chest is facing back. His body's actually resting on it. Uh, and you can get your uh, mini mate in some positions that normally mini mates uh, cannot get into. So this is kind of a fun little thing, and it works so well. Um but yeah, that's about it for this picture. Um, yeah, uh, and that's it for this video, I guess, too. We'll, uh, we'll start up with another video. Next video up should be a G.I. Joe. Uh, so look for that. And, um, and then I'll probably be back on Minimates, I'm sure. So anyways, thank you for viewing, guys, and we'll see you at the next video.